Now, wow. in the run-up to Mother's Day this weekend, we've been celebrating mums all week here on the show. And today, we're joined by the UK's most influential parenting blogger, Louise Pentland, to give us an insight into how building an online community can stop you feeling isolated as a mum, especially with schools closed for the foreseeable future. Please welcome, of course, the lovely Louise oh. again. So great to see you. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I feel so excited to be here. Oh, well, it's, oh, so, it's so great to see you, Louise. And it's, <laughs> as we, we keep saying, these sort of extraordinary times, the language has changed that we're all sort of using at the minute. And you've got such a huge online community and such yeah. a, a passionate fan base amongst parents, particularly mothers. What is the feedback that you're getting at the minute, Louise? How, how, how are people generally feeling? I think, like a lot of us, people are feeling anxious and worried and aware of all the changes. Um, but I think that they're turning to social media and, and maybe people like me, which makes it sound really big headed, but to talk about a new normal. So I've been doing lives on my Instagram and Facebook and talking about what are we doing today? What's something positive that you could do? Because yes, we are all in the situation. We are all, a lot of us inside. We are, things are changing, schools are finished, but what can we do ourselves to make this a bit better for ourselves? And I think people are looking for that positivity and for some suggestions mm -hmm. and it's okay to have a day where you say, I'm really having a terrible day, today's a low day for me. And then for everyone to say, you know what, I had that mm. yesterday, but I'm this is what I did, I'm here mm. for you. Mm. It's, um, it's a lot of pressure, isn't it, on parents yeah. who are now going to have their children at home and also the school sending them work to try and keep up with the curriculum. Oh, it no, seems I feel like, like I've such got to get more massive, tech savvy. <laughs> well, it is a real pressure. Me and Nadia were saying earlier that most days I'm probably just going to be like, right, open the back door. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do here. <laughs> I don't, it's, it's a hard, and I think, how do you feel? Do you feel like parents should relax and not worry too much about, you know, being infringent about setting up a classroom at home or...? Yeah, I don't think that we should get ourselves so, so worked up that we're unable to cope and, you know, when you get so stressed out, you can't do anything when you're like that. So I think just relax a bit, find your new normal and find out what suits you as a family. I'm going to try with Darcy to do some schoolwork and also make life learnings. Cook with your children. I mean, I'm the oh, worst I'm, cook I'm, in the world. I'm passionate about but, that because yeah. uh, we, uh, we've spoken before, haven't Chat, we, on your yeah. podcast. But um, m when my kids first came out of school and, been, and homeschooled, they talk about de-schooling, where you just have a period of time where you adjust as parents out for routine and they adjust. And like you say, there's so many different ways to learn. It's not yeah. just about sitting down. To, I think if anyone's going to try and do like a six, seven hour school day at home, you're going to lose it. Yeah. yeah going to lose it. Yeah. You've got to have lots of play and lots of other ways of just keeping them engaged. Yeah, and, and most of us aren't qualified teachers, yeah. um, but we have got something that we can teach. And this, mm. I'm looking at this as positively as possible. This could be a really good time to really bond with your children, and there will be days where you're like tearing your hair out a bit, but I think, imagine in like five years' time or ten years' time when our children are like, Mum, do you remember that time? But we were all off school for six months and we had the best time and we did all that stuff in the garden or I learnt to cook all that stuff. Like, you know, this can, we can make good out of what we've got. I mean, you're obviously, you're in town today. And yeah. do, you, do you ever feel a guilt, you know, for all those people out there who won't be able to self-isolate because they're key workers and they have to go to work? How do you sort of make yourself not feel guilty about being there at home whilst they're off school? Well... I have an yeah, attitude of gratitude. Those, I'm, I'm interested now. What happens to those children schools. who've been told they can't go to school and the parents do still have to go out to work? A lot of schools are opening for key workers and vulnerable children. Mm. Um, I've set up with some of my friends. We had a little WhatsApp group um, and just said, shall we do this together? So, like, my friend Esther, amazing in the kitchen and I've got a degree in science and can we pool our resources a bit? Mm. I mean, some people won't want to mix the children, but, you know, if it's one or two, I don't know... But and I put this in the is where actually social help. media at the moment, there's a lot bad said about social media, but really the community, communities are pulling together and giving yeah. support. Lots of the people that I speak to, you forget there's so many people that are living on their own or mm. with children on yeah. their own. And mm. I think it's a point of time when people really have to connect. It be a lifeline just... for some people. Yeah. I, I don't know about you, I honestly get so much out of engaging with people yeah. on social media. Like, I genuinely enjoy it. I, I love laugh at other stories. people. I feel like I'm friends with you in the corridors. Like, I feel like I know you. But you, you do. Know. You feel yeah. like you've got mates who yeah. you've never one. even met. I, I genuinely yeah. think, like you said, Nadia, there's a whole host of reasons why you have to be careful on, online, but actually, it can be an absolute godsend. Yeah. yeah. Mm. They say and it I just wanted to ask you, because we actually share... We share... We've got something in common, because I know that a lot of women are feeling... And I'm sure you've had lots of people reaching out to you online. 
who are pregnant women and they're mm. feeling they've got they've yeah. got anxiety. And we actually yeah. share something in common. I did hypnobirthing with my my first birth oh. was a bit more tricky than my second birth. But my yeah. second birth, I used um, uh, hypnobirthing, and you did too, didn't you? I did, and I I'm such an advocate for it. Honestly, yeah. the woman who I did my hypnobirthing with, she should pay me because what I know. is it though? What? Because so, people like me never. Heard it of sounds it. a bit wishy-washy, hippy-dippy, yeah, it but does. it's not. I know, because before yeah. I was like, mm, not for me, thanks, so just give me the meds. But then when <laughs> I did it, it's actually very scientific, it's based on science, it's education for what your body can do. Like, I didn't know, <laughs> uh, I can't be able to say this on TV, that my uterus is a muscle. I didn't know that, I just yeah. thought it was like a sack that the baby lives in. <laughs> but once you learn how that works... <laughs> Mary, I'm still there. Still got I'm my exactly the same, because when they explain in hypnobirthing, yeah, when you like, are what? in fear... Your, yeah. The blood goes from this muscle and the muscle doesn't work. So it's yeah. really, honestly, guys, there's lots of things online where you can yeah. look it up. And if you're feeling anxious and you do a lovely meditation every afternoon, really help bring my anxiety levels down. You can buy digital birth. packs of it as well. Now, if you yeah. can't get to a class or perhaps if budget doesn't allow, um, you can buy digital packs of it. And honestly, I just had the most beautiful birth with Pearl. I, well, I say beautiful, you know, it was still a birth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I had to drag, like, the placenta out into the garden at the end, which is a bit grim. But <laughs> so you gave birth at home? I had a home mm. birth. I had um, a, a hospital birth with Darcy that didn't go quite to plan, um, and then a lovely home birth with Pearl in a pool, and yeah. I look back on that day and think, oh, my goddess, I, that was amazing. And, yeah. and everybody can can do hypnobirthing and, and can take a bit of control yeah. over oh, what's look. very frightening. Mm -hmm. Oh, look! Oh. Oh. Did, you, did you film it all? So Liam picked up the camera a few times. Oh, look, I'm oh, going to oh, cry. Gosh. And that's <laughs> Darcy meeting her the, for the first time. The, the interaction that you have yeah. with, with your audience. I mean, oh. we're talking over 237 million views. Wow. I yeah. mean, it's just an extraordinary... That's over a long time. That's not <laughs> I couldn't care less. It's an, it's, but there's an awful lot of people just really generally interested and actually again it's, it's having someone to talk to yeah, right? these things isn't yeah, just that isn't it? normal person that you think yeah. oh yeah I get that and it couldn't be more it couldn't be more sort of important at this yeah. point I think to have yeah. that yeah. relationship be I'm kind to ourselves and to each other uh, and exactly we'll exactly <laughs> they say spread kindness don't yeah. they yeah yeah no absolutely so thank you so much it's great to see oh, you oh, it. Honestly, it really thank is you. and like you say you will keep on going giving us advice online coming up with ideas how to keep them occupied the as long ones. as i can i'll be sharing them you'll yeah. be there you'll be <laughs> yeah. there thank you so much indeed Louise. and of course if anything uh, we've talked about there has affected you please head to our website where you can find uh, details of where you can get some support